Good morning. Like the rest of the UK, Cornwall's been smashed by a storm for the last uh, few days. I've managed to find a, a break in the uh, in the sky long enough to get out and take the dog for a walk. Um, you can probably hear the stream in full spate and uh, the wind in the trees above me. Um, it's a bit of a wild time to be out, but it's a good time to be out as well. And I was thinking about feedback as I'm wandering around uh, down the valley here. And I read an article this morning which was essentially saying that feedback is useless, that feedback doesn't improve people's performance. And that made me think uh, and reflect on that because, you know, to me, feedback is the most important, most critical thing to helping people improve their performance. So, reading the article, what it was saying really essentially was that people get mostly negative feedback and that negative feedback doesn't improve people's performance because they're used to hearing the words, can I give you some feedback? And what they feel is immediately anxiety. And when you're anxious, you're not taking things in effectively. And so you're less likely to see it as being a positive uh, than a negative. You're gonna to want to run away or, or fight or freeze. And so your, your mind isn't where it should be. So it was also saying that just giving positive feedback isn't enough. And I kind of, to some extent agree with that because there was a recent article I read that was stating essentially that you need at least three to five positive feedback sets of feedback to balance off one piece of negative feedback but the way that I look at feedback is that feedback is just feedback it's only and it's solely information on the results of your behavior so giving people feedback is the only way really that anything's going to change or even possibly stay the same because to reinforce somebody's behavior is just as important as trying to change it. So I was reading about, <clears throat> excuse me, I was reading about the feedback and the way that people give feedback. And um, there's that sort of technique that um, the article was talking about, about the feedback sandwich, about giving somebody some positive feedback, then some negative, and then some positive. The problem with that is that every time they hear some positive feedback, they get conditioned to hearing that, expecting some negative feedback to follow along just behind it. So for me, the important thing is to catch people doing something well, to give them feedback on both the positive and the negative results of their behavior. But remember, all you're doing is giving people feedback and information on their behavior and use a really good technique for doing it. Now, we've got a technique that we can share with you, which is basically looking at being very objective about the behavior and about taking the effects of that behavior on a personal level and saying what effect that behavior has had on me. And then it follows up with a recommendation. And that recommendation is the really, really important bit because if you don't give people a recommendation, then really all you're doing is dumping your bad or your good feelings on somebody. So feedback is absolutely critical. And as we say in NLP, there's no such thing as failure, there's only feedback. And as a friend said to me as well, you know, I look on everything that happens to me as a learning opportunity. So if you as a manager, can give someone feedback in a way that they see as a learning opportunity, then feedback is definitely not wasted. Feedback is definitely the right thing to be delivering and the right thing to be doing all the time. Because at the end of the day, this is all about performance management. And performance management isn't just about appraisal or disciplinary, it's about the day-to-day -day managing and improving the performance of the people in your team. So if you'd like to find more out about giving and receiving feedback and the process that we use, then get in touch with us. I'd be really, really happy to talk to you about it. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this tiny bit of blue sky before the rain comes in and, uh, and the gales come back. So I hope you're all battened down and everything's safe where you are. And uh, have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.